I just ran a check on the Zon. Oh my so god! I don't care about guests, I got good timing. When you with your girl, she be silent. When I'm with your bitch, she be screaming. Fucked up a check at the name. So the way that I beat it, pussy niggas. Yo guys, so basically, in this tutorial video, as you've seen in the intro, basically we're just going to do a couple of stuff, nothing too fancy, nothing too amazing, just some new stuff. But as you guys have wanted before what I've seen, you guys have really wanted Sapphire sapphire stuff. So I'm going to do a special video just for Sapphire today. So basically, what you're going to firstly want to do is get all your um, uh, cinematics that you want in. I'm just going to do one cinematic, maybe two, depending on how I'm feeling near the time. So I'm going to get this one in, and... Where is it? This one in. Both of these two. And you're basically just going to do Control R while selecting it. Control R. And set a speed point for a bit way through. You want it to be about 2 minutes 30 seconds. 2.5 seconds long. And you're basically going to set the middle one to 400%. Then you're going to set a speed point by clicking on the arrow down and setting a speed point. Setting the first one to 800%. And then the and then do one towards the end and set it to 800%. So it looks like this. Also, if you go to play back and turn the proxy mode down, it'll allow you to see it easier. So it's still going to be a bit laggy, but basically this is what it'll look like for the start of the cinematic. As you can see, this is actually really, really long, so I'm going to crop it down a bit and zoom in. So this is currently 2 minutes 50, roughly, so I'm just going to do this again. There, so that's the first cinematic retime controlled. There, I'll just play in slow mode there for you guys. There. And we're just gonna crop we're gonna crop this down a little bit just here. We're just gonna do a fade in the new intro as well. So just there. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag a text above it, drag that on top. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do whatever highlights you want. So highlights hashtag let's do do hashtag ten. Why not? And then we're gonna scroll up, go into aerial and change the bold. Then what you want to do is change the tracking just so it's like cramped up next to each other just like that and right click on the text file and press new com compound clip press create and then in open effects you're going to search s underscore drop shadow drag this on and then go into I have, I have all my presets and stuff my really good presets and um, my own one here I really like this one these are just the sayings, it's just nice and easy. Just copy all of these real quick. And we're gonna zoom in and crop this a little bit just so where you see the retime controls. You're just gonna crop them so just there and just there. And then you're gonna search up S underscore warp waves and drag on just the first one. And then I've got some other got some more really good settings for that as well. So you're just gonna double click on it and then load up the preset manager and find it. So I'm just gonna use my good one here. These are the settings, I'll just slowly go through them quick. If you need to, just pause the video at any time and just work through them. Yeah, that's basically it. It's nothing too much, really. So this is going to be the first one. It's going to be a bit laggy, because we all have a retime controls and stuff. This is just it. Okay, so we're just going to do one cinematic. Basically, all you got to do is just follow that principle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag your first clip in. So I've got my first clip in, I've dragged it in, I'm just going to sync up just by holding the left hand side and dragging to it, just where I see the pellets hit, so just here, I'm going to find the beat drop, so just here, this is where I find the beat drop, I'm going to drag it just here in there and drag this all the way along here. As you can see, I don't actually have enough room because my clips are too short, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this here, this here, and just see where this will take me, so just there, and then drag this all back along here, and there, that's perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to the edge here. And I'm just going to do an opacity fade in. So in the top right keyframe at the very start of your clip, drag it all the way down to zero. And like about a second through, you're going to drag it back up to 100. So that will be the opacity fade in. And then you're going to drag your ident in. With your ident, there's normally going to be a back background. So if you go into fusion, press shift space and add delta key as always. Just press add and drag these two balls down here. Down. And now remove the background. So you got this. It's still a bit laggy. So look like this. So it's not fully synced up still. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sync it back up again like before. So that's what it looks like without any clips. So what we're going to do now, while selecting your first clip, you just press Control R and find the um and using arrow keys find where the pellets hit. Press Control R, set a speed point, 
Go back 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add a speed point, zoom in, set to 200%, and then set your audio tabs all the way to, like, lock them in the bottom left here, just press the lock icon, and then go 13 in the front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Add speed point and change speed. So it looks like this. So if some people, sometimes, this one it doesn't look very good, so depending on the situation, you just go adjust it. So this is what it looked for me. So that's going to be around 12 to the left. That's just perfect for mine, but it's going to vary depending on yours. But you want to make sure you go 13 to the right afterwards. That's a guarantee you need. Then look like this now. So that looks good. We're just going to cut it there, pressing Control B, drag that forward. Drag this forward and sort all this out here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look up S underscore shake. Drag this over the top. Wait for it to load. Open effects. Load preset. I'll show you my shake settings for this. It's just an RGB shake that I've used previously. It's really nice. So I'll just slowly scroll through these now. That's basically it. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll up, go to amplitude, and all the way to the end, you're going to keyframe the amplitude all the way down. So it looks like this. It's quite laggy, as you can see. Let me see if I can turn the proxy mode down. It's still down to the lowest. So it looks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do a purple glow. So just a S underscore glow. Drag this on top. Then I'm going to go into Glow, Load Preset, and I'll show you my Glow Preset settings now. So just a ping Glow. So I'll just scroll through these. It's literally just this. It's this. And what you're going to do is you're going to set the brightness keyframe at the start and at the end keyframe all the way down. So it looks like this now. Okay, so for now for this one, we're going to do a fish eye effect. So basically like a warp effect, but this is for Sapphire. This isn't the thing that's in my editing pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the next B drop. So just here, this is where the next nice beat drop is. This is with Sapphire only. The, the one in my editing pack is um, it's for normal DaVinci. So it's a unique one just for DaVinci. What we're going to do is just adjust the audio settings a little bit, turn that up. This is. So we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We press Control R on the clip, find where the pellets are. So just there, add speed point, 13 left, 13 right. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Add speed point. And back on this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lock the audio. Zoom in. Oh, we need to, we forgot to set speed point here. Set speed point just here. Add speed point. Zoom out. And then just set this one to 200%. Set this one to 50% just here. So now it look like this. Oh, wait. So it's a really nice, really, really nice velocity. It looks so good on this. So it's really nice. Now we're going to do a fish eye effect. So basically, you press Control B when you hit the person, and about 50 milliseconds before, or like just, what I'm going to do, just where he presses the edit, is when I'm going to do it, and I'm just going to press Control B again. Open effects, S underscore warp fish eye. Drag this on. Open effects, load preset, fish eye lens, load. And I just have some settings here that I'm just going to show you guys. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to change the zoom amount so it's just like this. And you're going to change the zoom distance so it's like more further out like this. Warp, and like that, and like that. And that's what it's going to look like at the end. So then what you're going to do is you're going to keyframe the amount and change this all the way down to zero here. And then keyframe to the end of the clip and keyframe it back to minus 30. So it'll look like this. So it looks kind of weird, it does, but trust me, if you, the more you use it, the better like positioning than you have than what I have, it will look better. You also want to make sure you keyframe the zoom distance at the start as well. So just from here, you're going to keyframe the zoom distance so it's normal. So just to normal one. And then all the way back, so here it's... 
So here it's all the way up to wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to do it up to 0 0.326. And depending on depending on how much you want to use, you can just change it, the settings. But these are the base settings, basically. And then what you're going to do, I'll leave a link to the description of this video on how to get the cinematic pack. But no, um, the transitions pack. But basically, just use the zoom out and in effect and change it to 0 0.10. It's really good. Just make sure to go drop him a sub because he helps me out a lot and he's really nice. So then the transition looks like this. So it's really good with the fish eye effect afterwards as well. And we're going to do a search in open effects again. S underscore shake. Drag this on. Drag this on to the end here. Open effects. And just use the exact same RGB split shake that I did before. That I showed you guys before. So I'm just going to drag it on. And then keyframe the amplitude just to the end. All the way down here. So it look like this. And if you want to do more of an impact after downloading the clips, go into the video transitions, find the zoom shake through, and basically make it so it's 0.04 as you hit the clip. So it looks like this. And then in terms of transitions for the intro, I forgot to tell you guys, drag barn door onto the front, make it drag it so it's a little bit that way, and then drag heart in the end. Like this for the video transition. So it's nice and simple, nice and easy. It's really effective. And so what we're going to do for the intro, outro, is basically keyframe where you want this. Wait, no, um, press Control B to cancel the clip, drag make this audio negative so just selecting this drag the volume all the way down here. and then uh, drag a Gaussian blur onto it so in open effects drag, drag Gaussian blur drag it open effects drag it all the way down here from this keyframe all the way up here just to there maximum so it's basically impossible to see and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag titles on over the top and then just drag this on and just say thanks for watching go up select whatever one you want whatever font you want i'm just going to use this one just arial it's nice and simple make it bold reduce the tracking make a compound clip create and just drag the S underscore drop shadow that I showed you earlier. Just drag on to the end here. Just there. And then S underscore warp waves. And just drag this one on here. And then just load up the preset again. And there, that's it. And then basically, if you want to extend it a little bit more, just Control Z and copy and paste it a couple of times. That's literally all you gotta do. And but for these next ones, you basically what you got got to do is just remove the keyframes because otherwise it will mess up. So just there, just remove them. You just gotta make sure, and that's basically that's literally all you've got to do. It's just as simple as that. So thank you guys for watching the video, I really appreciate it. If you could drop a like, that'd help me out so much, just to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.